I would like to welcome our next speaker, Mr. David Walker from Denso Wave Europe. Welcome, Mr. Walker. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, welcome to the show. I hope you've all had good journeys. Um, I'm going to talk about RFID today within retail, but from a slightly different angle. I'm going to look at things that keep the problems for, for retailers, things that keep retailers awake at night. Three key areas that I want to focus on are the challenges that retailers have in hitting their sales targets, preventing poor customer experience, and combating shrink. The biggest challenge that retailers have today is to hit their sales targets. And we all recognize that the only way that they can do that is to have the product that the customer wants to buy, where they want to buy it, when they want to buy it. In a nutshell, the product has to be in the right place at the right time. And yet, Pretty much every RFID case study out there tells us that most non-RFID enabled retailers don't know where between 35 and 40 percent, 30 to 35 percent of their product actually is. What we do know is that it's not where it's supposed to be. It's not where the customer wants it to be when they want to buy it. So let's take a look at why that might be. Well, very simply, it's because their stock inventory file at item level is incorrect. Case studies show us that retailers who don't have RFID yet, their inventory file at stock at item level only runs at between 65 and 70% accurate which means they have 30 to 35% of their product, which is not where it should be. It's not that their file is completely wrong, it's at item level. So why is the inventory file wrong? Well, there are a number of, of reasons for this. It may never have been correct in the first place. Most retailers, when they receive orders in from their suppliers, they don't check it at item level. They can't, the orders are too big. So they have to assume that they're correct. But inevitably, there are errors within that delivery. There are picking, packing, dispatch errors in DCs and in warehouses. Um, picking and packing relies upon outdated barcode technology and it's a very manual process. It's very time consuming and it's very time sensitive. Inevitably, errors are made. But those errors are often not picked up. And they're not corrected, which means the inventory file is wrong. There can often be incorrect deliveries made by retailers, transport and logistics. It's very easy to take the wrong product off the back of a truck when it's being delivered into stores. Unfortunately, most stores don't know what exactly what's going to be delivered. They have nothing to check it against. And very importantly, even if they did, they don't have the time to check it. So again, that means the inventory file for that store is incorrect. Most store groups only have one to two stock takes per annum. Now we work very closely with a stock taking company and they tell us that in actual fact the accuracy of the stock file deteriorates by approximately 2% per week on a compounding basis. So the inventory file is so inaccurate after an eight week period that that stock file really should not be used for replenishment but it is. So why does poor inventory accuracy affect your sales? 
Well, let's imagine your flagship store and you have a, a high flying product, a high selling product, and your system shows that you have 25 pieces on stock. But in reality, due to theft, due to process errors, you have zero. You have zero, you can't sell any. But your system will never replenish your stock because your system is saying you have 25 on stock. Result, zero stock, zero replenishment, zero sales. I would challenge anybody to tell me how that helps you to hit your sales target. It's, it's, you're not giving your sales managers the tools to help them hit their sales targets. That out of stock situation is only then picked up by an analyst who, who is assessing the figures and going, why isn't that store selling, making sales of what should be a high sell product? But by the time that analyst has found that out, how many opportunities have you missed to sell a high value product or a high selling product? So the problem there is that everything that's happening is just compounding to, to help you miss your sales targets. Numerous case studies tell us that retailers that have adopted RFID have improved their inventory file at item level from 65 to 70% up to 99%. Why? How, is, how have we done that? How have we corrected a significant inventory problem to almost ensuring it's almost 100%? Well, we correct process errors. If we talk about the picking and packing in warehousing and DCs, we mentioned that it's a, a difficult task and it's time consuming. So with RFID, it's a much, much faster process. There's no line of sight involved. You don't have to physically see a barcode and there's no product isolation. You don't have to pick and pack a product in isolation. When an order, a replenishment order is picked, it's Im immediately checked against the replenishment system to make sure that what is picked is actually correct. If there are any errors at that point, it can be corrected straight away, which main maintains the accuracy of your inventory file. Before any product is dispatched from a DC or received into a store, it's checked at the docking bay doors. So your store now receives an advanced shipping notification they know what's coming. It's automatically checked to make sure that the order that's coming in is correct. If there are any errors, there shouldn't be, but if there are, the inventory file is automatically corrected at that point. So all the time, we're maintaining the accuracy of the stock file, meaning that we can replenish based on accurate data, putting your product where your customer wants it, when your customer wants it. Shrinkage is a big element of why your um, stock file is incorrect. Now, I'm going to come back to that in, in a little while on, a, on another slide. Because RFID scanning, in comparison to barcode scanning, is much, much faster, it enables each store to be able to do a weekly stock take. You can't do that with conventional barcodes because you just don't have the time to do it. But I'm going to show you how you can in a moment. Um, what I'd like to show you here is just a very simple explanation and a demonstration of why you can go from not being able to do store tech to stock takes to being able to. If you look at what the time takes to do um, a stock take using barcodes, it takes seconds to scan every item. That's hours to do a full store, just not practical. But using a Denso SP1, we can scan up to 700 items per second. You can check the stock in a store in between one and two hours. That enables you to keep your inventory up to date all the time.
That enables you to ensure that your product is where it should be. And it's all about maintaining the accuracy of your stock file and be able, being able to replenish on accuracy. By doing that, by having the stock in the right place at the right time, Case Study has shown us that you can increase your sales in the region of anywhere between 2 to 6%. Now, I would challenge any retailer in the room to tell me that increasing your sales by 2 to 6% and more in some cases would not help you to hit your sales target. I want to move on now to um, another headache for retailers, poor customer experience. Forbes tells us in, in 2019, so pre-COVID, that 86% of all consumers bought their product in store after checking out what they wanted to buy online. Okay. They also tell us that 43% of consumers don't return to a store, they jump to a competitor if they had a bad experience. Now, how many times have we all had this happen to us? We see a product that we like online, we go into the store to try it on only to find that that product is not on the shelf. So we go find a sales assistant, we ask them to check to see if there's any in the back room, the system says, yes, we've got one. So off they go, go into the back room, come back 10 minutes later, looking slightly disheveled, slightly red, I'm really sorry, I can't find one. That's not the sales assistant's fault. That can be down to any number of things. Their stock file is inaccurate, but that could be because of theft, it could be because of process errors, it may never have been delivered in the first place. It's not their fault. But what you've got there is a missed opportunity to make a sale and a poor customer service experience. That situation was avoidable. By making sure that your stock file is accurate and replenishing on accurate data that product would have been where it was supposed to be. And you could have tried it on, and you could have then bought it. RFID can improve your customer experience elsewhere. Um, it's, it happens all the time that at the till point, at your check, checkout point, point of sale, the staff forget to take off the EAS tag. Happens all the time. Product's been sold. But when you get to the exits, your EAS system alarms. Now, we've all had that look from security guards and from other members of the public going, oh, he's stolen that. Well, you haven't. It's just a process error. But by having RFID at your exits, your security guards can very, very quickly ascertain that that product has been sold and diffuse the situation. That just helps, by, um, helps improve the customer service. Let's talk about shrinkage. Um, shrink essentially comes from three different areas. It comes from internal theft, external theft, and process errors. This is some data from the center of retail research. And you can just see from there where the, the percentage of shrink actually falls within the different groups. Um, Gary Tattersall, the former head of loss prevention at Jack Wills in the UK, tells us that their internal shrinkage reduced by 80%, 80% just from the adoption of RFID. Very simply, um, it was reduced by reducing the number of process errors and the internal theft fell away to almost nothing because the product was being tracked, the movement of the product was being tracked, and it was very easy to be able to see which staff had been in which location. And that in itself is a major deterrent for internal theft. So as you can see from that, that internal theft and process errors accounts for almost 50% of shrink within retail. Get rid of that, and that's a huge potential saving. 
So let's quickly review the processes of RFID. Um, stores now receive advance notice of what's being shipped. When it arrives at store, it's automatically checked or can be, be checked with a handheld. As product moves about the store, the inventory file location is changed. And all the time, we're keeping the accuracy of the inventory file up to date. Because RFID scanning is so fast, we can now do weekly store stock takes. We can remove process errors at the till point by ensuring that the product is scanned effectively. And we can improve the customer service at exits by helping to um, resolve the issues around false alarming. So why partner with Denso Wave? We are part of the, Den the wider Denso group, which in turn is part of the Toyota group. So big, stable company, big organization, um, lots of resource behind us. We offer best-in-class hardware. The software which we use in retail is very, very user-friendly, and yet it's a totally comprehensive piece of software. We believe that our software is by far the easiest to take to trial and the easiest to implement in the market. The time taken to actually trial and implement is significantly shortened, shortened using our software. We have a global partner network which enables to offer a complete end-to-end -end solutions. We can offer consumables, we can offer implementation, we can offer hardware in terms of readers, printers, pretty much everything. We can flip stores from barcoding to RFID. We offer full integration and full aftermarket support. So just quickly to recap the benefits of RFID. By adoption, you can increase your sales by anything up to double digit numbers. That will help you to hit your sales targets. You can significantly improve your customer experience by having the product in the right place at the right time when they want to buy it. You can reduce shrink significantly, as Jack Wills has shown us. You can reduce costs by not having to overstock and process errors. All in all, you improve your profit by having RFID, and ultimately, that's what Everything like this is about, it's improving the level of profit that your business makes. Very simply, help yourselves to get a good night's sleep, resolve some of the problems that you have, just take on board RFID. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them either here or please come and see us on the stand on Stand 47. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Walker.